And welcome back to the Frosty Wildlands of Hortels. Now, this is kind of like the fun area of the game because over here we had a few settlements and some other things, but here is the cursed village of Ashtel. Now, you know why we have new Ashtel? Because the old one was invaded by plagued monsters. Okay, let's see. Now, the mechanic for this is very simple. You just have to take, I think, six. Uh, Six people with you, but since we don't have really people, we'll just take the first horse we got, the pony, and then the dark steed. I guess we need to take more, so as you can see, these guys are super, super noisy, and we have to take one more. So, I recommend you... I don't know how to put it. I think uh, you should have the people that are very very stealthy of course, that means willpower, but at the same time I'm not sure I'm supposed to deal with this one. I guess we'll just have to enter and see. We are super noisy. Oh, we can get a golden key from here. That's actually pretty nice. And I think we'll even make noise. With the lockpicks. Yeah, it will be funny if you break a lockpick and the enemies will hear it. Yeah, they heard it. This is the part of the game I don't really like it, so here you just have to survive as long as possible without hitting the enemies. And I don't know, that's how it's supposed to be played, you're not supposed to hit the enemy, because if you hit the enemies... Also you cannot move around our cactus, if you hit the enemies you will be in trouble. Because you need to spend all of your rounds to find a way out. If you do anything else but find a way out, you will quickly notice that it's kind of a dead end job. So let's engage him. Also, they have a lot of poison, so it'll be a tough one to survive. I think we need about 3 rounds of this, and then we can get out. And there we go, more poison. Because they will automatically fight back on that hit. Huh, I guess the next one will come from there, and from below. Fevers everywhere, fevers and poisons everywhere. As you can see, I spend all of my rounds trying to escape or to find a way out, but sadly, when they enter, they don't trigger the overwatch effect, so that's also another big, big problem for me. So let's make sure this side is safe for us. I really want to move them a little bit, but I don't think I can do it. That's bad, but it's not so bad. He <laughs> was in the zombie and he got hit by the... Uh, that's hilarious. There's some kind of interactions between these creatures are fun. A 
like I keep saying, just run away. Eventually they'll kind of reach a bottleneck where they cannot advance anymore, but they'll have to stick around over there. <laughs> That's a lot of them. So they have cornered me in a way. I just go and sit in the corner. You are grounded. I don't really want to fight him. I guess I can take the free hit so I can kill it. I guess we kill it after taking two hits. Okay, so this guy is also spent, so we'll put him in the corner to marinate a little bit. Uh, so I cannot kill them in one shot like I usually do, so I have to. I have to massively increase the power of my warband if I want to survive these encounters for the swamp village. What level are they? They're level 7. I guess we need one more round. Oh wow, yeah, that was the perfect attack. Hmm, okay, we're barely going to make it. Yeah, sadly he doesn't have the runaway skill. So I'll have to disengage, use the find a way out. And then probably just move him over there. And then pulling the blue will move them and then they'll get hit by the attack. Oh wow, that's a bug. Why do we have a bug? Imagine if you don't know the turn order to this mess. How would you do it? Well, they might die, I'm not sure. Oh no, we escaped. We barely escaped that. That was so much poison, so much damage, so much plague wounds everywhere. Everything was bad. So let's explore again. You keep your noise level and your progress so you can do this. Okay, we didn't break another lockpick. I should have really been doing the village in the Kush village in the swamps because that will give us access to the loot. Here, I'm not sure what we might find. I just keep saving after we do one of these. I have the golden key. I guess we can go over here to. A wow. What with that noise generation? I guess you get 90 every time we enter a building because we're entering good ponies or horses. Well, I guess that's why you should come more or less prepared with a lot of... I think I'll change my tactic a little bit this time. 
Why is he, why is he on the corner like that? Them because that will cause the poison to appear, but I guess I have no choice now, more or less. Also, don't don't burn anyone. Don't try to burn anyone. That would be a huge mistake in this place. You'll just get burned back. It will be ten times worse when you get burned back. Yeah, I guess I should just disengage. Give them the free hit, I mean, attack them for free once. Then just kind of wait it out over here. Yeah, I'm changing my tactic. That last one uh, was kind of disaster. Very close to a very big disaster. Did you find anything in the corner? Was there a moth trap or something? Oh, I think I can defend them a little better if I'm over here. But only slightly better. I did I don't have my other skills and my other buffs and I have to do a lot of work, yeah. Uh, these guys need a lot of work for sure. Some of them are creepers and some of them are plague ridden. I didn't notice this beforehand. But the I guess the only change is that the creepers do a lot more damage and they don't have as much poison as the normal ones. One fever, and I guess they don't have the ambush mechanic since the, it's in broad daylight. You can also move out of the poison just for a little bit so they will try to uh, attack me. Oh, perfect. He's dead. This said that would be a problem. Whatever, just just end the turn. Even though my critical hit is uh, about 52%, I think 52%, I'm still getting uh, hit, hit hits fast enough, I think. So look at this, 52% critical hit chance and I'm not even getting one critical every three attacks. That's a little bit annoying. I can get poisoned a little bit and then just focus on the side. So as you can see we are making kind of like a little human shield wall and then we are protecting whatever is left. Problem will be that we cannot disengage to attack unless we take a lot of damage. Not really beating a band of ponies into a cursed village. Oh, 
Yeah, we killed one, but that doesn't really help us, does it? Perfect, critical strike. Yeah, that was a human voice, I think that's... The developers messed up a little bit over there. And as you can see, these guys just will counter-attack every time they're attacked, but that will just bring more poison to us. Oh, finally some rats. Oh, that rat was fast and he went the wrong way. Okay, so this should be the escape round, right? Or the next one? Uh, yeah, it's going to be the next one. Is there any point? No, there's no point. And I guess from now, on, from now on, there will just be a lot of repetitive actions. That's not a problem, that will be a problem, that will be a problem. I guess we can try to play this a little safer. Yeah, let's play it a little... Oh no, we escape. Easy peasy, right? I wouldn't say easy, to be honest, that was kind of annoying. So I guess we'll get attacked once every building, which will take a very long time to complete. Issues. Just boring stuff. Oh, locked. Take with them bodies. Step over. Who's the most agile? 51 dexterity. Like, how do you reach 51 and the other guy has 41? We just get very weak armor and a very weak here. We're using a golden key over here. Well, that's not really worth it, is it? I guess you can wake them up if you want to fight. Hmm, I might have to do that off camera. <clears throat> Please don't make it 100 again. Okay, it will be 100 again. Let's prepare mentally for this. Fight, fight. I want to calm down the little doggy. Yeah, so I guess we'll just have to use the same tactic more or less. Uh, uh, they might destroy that wall over there, which I'm very worried about. at some point we have to take a break and regenerate our or valor points because this is not going to hold us until we finish the entire curse village. It lags when you do a critical. Oh wow, they 99 health. Ah, so close yet so far away, right? I guess there's no other way around it. You'll have to get the poison. Oh, you don't get poisoned if it's Okay. If it's the last hit, nice. <laughs> so this, these guys have one more point of health, which is exactly enough, so they don't survive the bleeding. Oh, 
Okay, so I guess my strategy is really working out very nicely. Unless they start attacking from weird directions like that. Let's make sure nothing bad can happen over there. Ah, so close to hitting the attack area. A fever. Oh yeah, so many effects going on at the same time. I want a bit of poison on my blade. Probably I won't because I don't want another zombie being alive over there. be problematic in the future if I don't destroy him now. Yeah, see what I mean? He went over here instead of going for the middle. I wish I could do more with him. I really wish I could. Kind of means we have to make a tactical retreat. Again, it's not ideal, but this will have to do. Plague the monsters. Oh, you're not joking. There are a lot of them. Hmm, is there any point in trying to control this tide of plague? Uh, not really. <coughs> Turn your back, we'll look for a way out, look again at your enemy and hit him. I guess I can kill this guy if I really wanted to. Do I really want to? Eh, problem. So not heal, keep calm and don't breathe in the poison. It's so bad for us. Also, use this way out because we have to engage a zombie after this. You see my tank is really holding out very nicely, he barely takes any damage, but the poison is just a slow, slow killer. And now everything is poison. It's almost this like radioactive bomb attack over here. I guess I have to play with him. Yeah, not much point. Not a lot of... Not a lot of options over here, to be honest. I guess I'll just end the turn and hope for the best. We should be able to end it next turn. That poison healing is so annoying. Is this the final one? No, it was not. I guess we can take a few more hits just for the fun of it, right? Last one? Yes? Yes, okay. I cannot believe this tactic is working, so as you can see, just just me playing the game normally for all of these hours is actually has evolved in me making some of the weirdest changes and actions. I'm not sure what. Who can calm down this wolf? No, just for the sake of it, I'll. Try with the thief. Now we might get attacked once again. I'm afraid to do this. 
this, okay. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Now this will not work. Okay, you know what? There's also another trick I sometimes use. So if you don't do all of the area, if you don't do anything over here and skip to the next area, you'll I think we'll provoke the, the attack of the zombies, but that will not be so bad because then we'll be able to search that other room freely. I think that's how it should work. I'm just eating this because I don't have time. I want to have less slots used in my inventory. I'm also trying to keep the ponies hurt for that quest in the new Astral Village. <laughs> Day 4. We're still getting infested by zombies. And other nightmarish creatures. Oh, this is a pretty good starting area. I guess you can get the wolf over there and that wolf might be super strong from all we know but uh, I guess I'm not sure how to make him be our friend so it doesn't matter but try to if you want to play with wolves definitely try to get that guy on your side he might be something super special is this enough? No, it will not be enough, but the crit will be enough. Mm, I might have made a few tactical errors. Ah, it's okay. We don't really need all of those valor points anyway. That's why we rested. Okay, I think they should hold the corners. <laughs> Little rat. The rats are not immune to poison, which is <laughs> kind of funny that they would be in this mission because they can get poisoned 100% from all of this nonsense over here. I guess I just have to defend the middle of our little rat. Oh. Let's search for an escape. I hope I search for an escape. Okay, let's focus. We really need to remember first you try to escape and then you do whatever else you want to do. Yeah! Also showed us we'll get a valor point. Did you see that? I think it did. No. We are. You're a good door stopper over there. <laughs> Yeah, I really want to change the classes because to use the friends you need to be engaged in combat but to use his dagger throw skill, oh that would have been so good here. Could have used it in a very safe manner. Might have been a mistake. Now he has 10 poison slot uh, stacks. So no more can come through there. Okay, here comes the party. The clown party I might add. So I remember to search with the guys that will be attacked anyway. Yeah! I might as well search with these guys also so we can disappear. Oh 
Oh, this will hurt a lot. 51 damage from the plague ridden. And that's because I didn't heal him with my archer last turn. I thought it would be okay, but it's not really okay. Yeah, let's do this before we lose someone. He's already there, so what will be the point? Hmm, I guess we just have to wait and hope for the best. And that's why I heal him. Perfect, oh wow, he survived that because of the poison, he got the heal from the poison. That's a lot of math that went into that <laughs> engagement. <laughs> I guess we can try to kill this guy. Uh, slim chance of succeeding. <laughs> That's such an awesome engagement when they. Yeah, this is bugged. I don't. Why is there? Why are there bugs in the full release of the game? Definitely could have done that a lot better. I guess now we can relatively safely search this because we will not get enough. Will not make enough noise. There will be money bags in the other one as well. Sorry, I didn't rescue the little doggy. I just didn't know how to do it. 33 noise generation for a simple oak pick fell. Quiet, sure. Silent, okay, so I guess he also got the silent trait, which is kind of interesting. So every time you you pass a challenge, a silent test challenge, you will get uh, the option, or you have a chance to get that trait. I guess that's it. Doesn't look like we're finished. We have finished it. Okay, game. What's left? What's left? Tell me, show me. Enlighten me. Well, I guess the only thing we have to do is wake up the zombies in the basement over there. Okay, let's do it. It's the only thing we haven't done and probably it's a requirement to do this even though we shouldn't really wake them up. Perhaps this will be a proper fight and not, yeah, it's not a proper fight, it's going to be <laughs> extraction. Just don't like that corner. I don't know why. Careful. I think when I first played the villages, I used to forget so often to do that. That most of the time I was just fail because I forget to use their. Uh, 
search for a way out option. No, he's the strongest one, so you'll probably have to defend this flank. Ah, flooding the line. So close yet so far away. This, this is where we have to use our ranger. Okay, so let's get them into positions since this will be a kind of a hard fight. Yeah, let's wait for them to attack. 46 HP, that's easy. That morale just means they have uh, they will get faster to the galvanization. I think. There's nobody really coming from that side, so I guess I have to move my swordsman. <laughs> Too late to move him. I mean, my brute. Okay, this is fine. This is not fine. Okay, move two people, so let's move them. Ah, I should have used him. Yeah, that was a tactical mistake. I guess I can use them as best friends. Man, this is not really getting me a lot of critical attacks for whatever reason. I feel cheated out of my critical hits. The rats are fast, but not fast enough. I guess I could also use this one to heal, just to make sure everything will be okay. <laughs> okay, everything is becoming a green stew again. That should count towards the escape option. Hit, if you hit him once, you will die. Oh no, he will out heal the damage. Yep, that's a possibility in this game. <laughs> so that implies that they're also on the roof. Oh, hey, that's a lot of enemies. I don't want to deal with all of them, so let's just get out of here. Okay, that was another perfect escape. Oh. You can wake them up again? What? Why would you want that? I thought that would give me a new option. I don't think there's anything left, so does that mean it's completed or not? I forgot what was the completed message. Safe guarding. 
Famous. Oh, I guess that's the coolest village. I don't see any other things we can do over here. Let's try again. I mean, we did get a lot of experience. We searched the chest, all of the chests. We got the key, we searched the basement. Tavern is empty. Exactly. Now look at the population difference over here. Scouts. You need to gather the total willpower. So I guess if you put points into willpower, this will be a lot easier. So I guess if you have people with 20 willpower, you can basically make this party go with... But what would be the point? Willpower is only used for the cursed villages, so I don't know. I really don't know why willpower exists in this game sometimes. This is such a niche skill, uh, such a niche attribute to use. Okay, I guess that's it. We, we did the village, we finished it, and the rewards are kind of lacking, to be honest. You just get a lot of gold, but the, the money lost in supplies, healing items, and other things is in repair materials is much greater than the gold you get. Waking them up seems like a very bad idea. Okay. Bye.